And I'm just like, wasn't we just all ride or die for her a few months back? Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your hater. Make your money, no. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the cream and get your money, sis. Get your money, sis. Fuck a hater. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. If you got this far, just push that thumbs up button. It doesn't hurt to do so. And and it will make me very very happy so please push the thumbs up button <laughs> without further ado let's get right into today's topic so this is a video that I hate to have to do but my brothers and my sisters I'm gonna need everybody to come to the front of the congregation we, we need to have a little powwow everybody please please my brother my sister my beautiful black people, please, can we have a heart to heart right now? I need to talk to you guys. So, Olympic track star Shikari Richardson ran in the 100 meter race against other phenomenal racers. Unfortunately, Shikari came in last place and she withdrew from the 200 meter race and she had this to say after her loss. You know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the shit you want. Because I'm here to stay. I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest woman in this game ever. And can't nobody ever take that from me. Congratulations to the winners. Congratulations to the people that won. But they're not done seeing me. Controversy has been spinning around Shikari Richardson since the world was first introduced to her in her very first race where she sported a vibrant orange wig with the long nails looking like a baddie that she is. Unfortunately, a lot of the world was focused on Shikari's appearance and how she presented herself opposed to her actually smoking the boots off of the rest of those women and winning that race. And then following behind that incredible win, Shikari unfortunately was tested positive for um, marijuana in a drug test where she then had to um, be disqualified from the race. And it's been controversy ever since, but when that first situation happened, when people were downing her about her appearance and talking about the hair and the nails and the fact that she smoked a little bit of weed, everybody was coming to her defense. Let her be what she wants to be. You don't know what people are going through. It's just a little weed. Little weed ain't never hurt nobody. She's expressing herself. This is how most of the young girls look. They wear their hair. They wear her nails like this. A lot of young black girls can look up to her. Everybody was Team Shikari, Shikari, Shikari. But when Shikari came in last place, in this last race she had and had and her response everybody is now turning against her and i could not believe the comments that i read these are some of them everyone is like she needs to humble herself oh this is what happens when you don't race in a month like a lot of hatred towards this young lady and i'm just like wasn't we just all ride or die for her a few months back? The majority of the people who both rooted for her and then turned around and bashed her were people that looked like her. So my question to you is, as black people, are we just too damn hard on each other? 
why are we so easy to flip flop when it comes to situations like this please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and now i'm going to drop my two cents on the situation this is why i said we we need to have a talk you guys you know come on bring it in bring it in this is a heart to heart we having i don't understand i feel like black people are so damn hard on each other it's almost sickening um i think it's crazy how i'm just gonna i'm just gonna start from from the get-go i'm i i'm not a fan of the olympics i have never watched the olympics a day in my life um but at the end of the day i'm rooted for anybody who's black if somebody black wins in anything whether it's swimming running balance beam i don't care i'm happy that they won um but i'm just curious as to why every time a person of color wins we're like yeah we did it yeah da, 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 be yourself but then at the same time it's like oh my god look at her hair oh my god look at her body oh my god look at this and it's like why do we do that why isn't it enough to just be proud of seeing one of our own break records win why is that not enough why do we always have to have the side jokes and the side comments when gabby douglas won everyone has so much to say about this young lady's hair simone she's an, incre an incredible gymnast as well everyone has so much to say about her body shakari won that race smoked those girls again i'm trying to understand how the very things that we praised her for because not everybody was t judging her hair you know you get some but a lot of people were like let that girl express herself be loud make a statement with your hair make a statement with your nails be loud and proud if you need be those same things we praised her for just a few months back we are now tearing her down for because we don't like how she reacted to her loss. So, which is it? Is it okay to express yourself sometimes in the physical, but not to verbally express yourself? You know, she's human. She's a young girl. And yes, she feels like a lot of people are counting her out but she's here to stay why you can't have that cockiness about you now don't get me wrong do i care for for how she spoke and like you know how she carried herself i mean i wouldn't talk that way if i was you know in her position but that's not for me to judge her you understand like i'm not i would never go on social media and start typing all these negative things about her just cause. And I feel like this day and age is just so easy for people to type the meanest things about others. And I'm sorry to say specifically black people. And it's like, why is it so easy for us to tear each other down? Why is it so easy to make jokes? Like we don't never take shit serious. I'm sorry, like we really don't. I feel like we will make a joke out of anything. And don't get me wrong, I'm guilty of it sometimes myself. I don't know if that's our way of coping, but it's like, damn, like you guys literally had this young lady up here and that quick because she lost. Now she's down here. Um. It's also confusing how, okay, she withdrew from the 200 meter race and everyone started calling her a, a sore loser. But when, but we don't know what her reasons were for pulling out of the race. Maybe that first race, the 100 meter, maybe she felt like, whoosh, I can't really do this. We don't know what she's been doing in her time off. She might not have been physically ready but we know what she's capable of, as she said. So if she felt like, mm, I'm gonna sit this one out, 
why not just support her the same way we supported Simone when she withdrew? Like, why do, why is it a pick and choose when we want to ride or die for somebody, but then at the same time, it's like, mm, yeah, we're done. We're off that. We too flip floppy, y'all. We ain't supposed to be like that. I just feel like, you know, I feel like this is a mentality that has been taught to us for centuries to hate ourselves, to downplay ourselves. And we fall into the trap every single time. Colorism is obviously a very big thing that divides us. The things that is put on television. I just finished watching um, the baddies reunion. And yes, I know I'm guilty of watching Ratchet TV. I told y'all this, so don't. I am not a, I love Tamar, but I'm not a fan of her all the time and how she treats people sometimes but i commend her for how she behaved how she spoke up on that stage and it was like the fact that jason and and some of the other women wanted to see everybody rah rah fighting instead of taking accountability for themselves and apologizing to themselves to, apologizing to each other and talking it out and handling it like real women Oh, this is boring. Y'all not being real. No, because everything doesn't have to be rah-rah. We don't have to always be hating each other. We don't always have to talk down to each other. We don't have to always bash each other. We do not have to fight each other on television just for the world's entertainment. And don't think these networks don't know what they're doing when they put these type of things on our television and we immediately gravitated because we are so used to trauma and drama that it's like eyes glued and we're like entertained by this never will i stand on this platform or any platform and bash someone because of who they are we don't know shikari's story we only know what she let us know we don't know why she conducts herself we don't know why she pulled out of that race we don't know why she lost that race my thing is pat the girl on her back for going out there, making it happen, still coming back after all the controversy she had to face before. And so she lost, so what? Okay, so she didn't give the greatest speech at the end. We can't tell people how to react in certain situations. That was her reaction. She decided to pull out for whatever reason. That's her prerogative. But as black people, I feel like we really need to stop bashing each other because this is what they want. They want us to divide so they can continue to conquer. You have no idea how there is power in numbers. There is power in unity. And I'm not sitting here saying I'm kumbaya to every single black person I see. And I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, yes, king. Oh, yes, queen. But to just bash people for, for something like this, for their hair, for how they look, for how they dress, because they don't have the latest designer, you know, to put each other down for stupidity like that. It's, it's unacceptable and we really need to change and we really need to start thinking about that the way i watched everybody flip flop on this girl like that that's scary and we gotta do better as always i thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave me your comments what do you think about this situation how do you think we can better each other as black people um don't forget to follow me on all my social medias everything will be in the description down below and since y'all don't be messing with my bloopers like that video you know when i be putting my little blooper compilations together so i'm gonna start putting them at the end of the video so stay tuned because this was a rough one thank you guys for watching and jenny is out so recently olympic tra uh why can't i get the words out Recently, Olympic tra- Ugh. Jesus, coming over me. No, I don't like that. I don't know why it's like that.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Olympic tracks. I'm gonna cry.